This video provides an overview of the precision tree ribbon. Then other videos in the guided tour series describe the functionality of specific parts of the ribbon in more detail. The Create New group is used most often to create a new decision tree. It can also be used to create a new influence diagram, a new influence node, or a new influence arc. The Edit group has only one button, the Settings dropdown. It provides a centralized way to get to the settings for your model, which could be a decision tree or an influence diagram. The model settings item is particularly useful for changing the various aspects of a decision tree, including the tree's name, the calculation method, the number formatting, whether a utility function is used, and others. The analysis group is useful after a decision tree or influence diagram has been created. Its decision analysis dropdown allows you to see the payoff distribution of the best strategy with the risk profile option. And if your model is a decision tree, the policy suggestion option allows you to see a subtree that corresponds to the best strategy only. The Sensitivity Analysis button allows you to run a one-way or two-way sensitivity analysis of the optimal expected payoff to selected inputs. The Tools group provides access to two new features in version 6.0, Bayesian Revision for flipping a tree with Bayes rule, and Append Subtree for building a symmetric subtree quickly with a handy tabular interface. The Find and Model Errors buttons are useful for identifying nodes in a large tree and for identifying whether there are possible errors, such as probabilities not summing to 1. The Update Links button is more specialized. It is used only when you use the Linked Spreadsheet Calculation method. The Help group contains the usual Utilities and Help dropdowns, along with a link to Precision Tree videos. Specifically, you use the Utilities dropdown to get to Application Settings, where you can change settings for Precision Tree as a whole. You can also use it to unload Precision Tree or to load other applications in the Decision Tools suite. The Help drop-down list is self-explanatory. It includes a number of options for learning Precision Tree better, including many example spreadsheet files and links from the welcome screen to instructional videos, such as the one you are seeing right now.